I want to take you on a journey, a journey about life, a journey about school and growth. Sometimes you can't really choose the cards life deals you, you just have to accept and work with what you have. I didn't really want to study performing other music. My name is Ayumi Kwon of Ovoko. I resumed Ajayi Crowder on the 25th of January 2021. My name is uh, Baba Femi Ukile. I think I resumed on uh, the 17th of January, 2021. My name is Ibukon and I resumed on a Sunday, January 2021. Please, Oteka, Orodu Adeko. And I resumed in January 2021. Hi. I'm Tenyola Shoboale. Here's your channel's TV news update for February 28, 2020. The Federal Ministry of Health has confirmed the first case of the coronavirus disease COVID-19 in Nigeria. The Minister of Health who confirmed the case said it involves an Italian citizen who works in Nigeria and just returned from Milan, Italy on the 25th. Seeing people and makes me happy and I always am, I, I've always had a passion for acting and presenting so i just felt that you know performing as a music is like the best course to actually go and bloom i wanted to do fine arts because i prefer painting i prefer drawing but i mean life gave me performing art, and i found a space where even in it i can thrive which is the aspect of scenography set design and things like that I wanted something in the educational space, but that would not make me end up as a teacher. I wanted to be in the educational space, and I applied for educational management at the University of Ibado. But because of the strike at the time, I had to opt for something that I would not slow me down. I don't know. I think um, my culture in particular, I think um, being a Yoruba boy, born in the bar of city, uh, seeing the beauty of the culture, seeing the colors, it's, it's just so, so nice. It's from uh, the humble beginning to being on the world stage. I'll just speak to one as a regular student and one as a student leader. So uh, my top moment as a student was when I tested positive for COVID. When we resumed in 2021, there was a test that was carried out and I was one of the many people that tested positive. And I had to go back home for about two, three weeks. And it was a very tough moment because at that point, I was just settling down and I had a lot of questions in my mind. What if it's a sign to not be here, blah, blah, blah. But thank God, uh, you know, something about tough moments is tough moments don't last, tough people do. Bro, I mean, we had a lot of tough times. You being a Jerry you know, it's been a tough time. <laughs> Man, ah, every day was tough. I'll be very honest with you. Every day, every day was tough. Um, the uncertainty that comes with every day. The, oh, how is today going to be? How is tomorrow going to be? Every, every single day was tough. And how, how did we get through it? I mean, you have no control over tomorrow. The only time you have control is the present. So, you leave it as it comes, I think. <laughs> anything that was to happen, we think we solve, we solve. So anything we want to solve, we see the living bell that took it in the Ogba. Four years. My toughest moment is definitely when I sat down one day. I had exam in the morning and I stayed up all night reading. And in the morning of my exam, I sat down and I looked and I realized, and, and, and a question popped up in my mind, what's all this for? Why am I doing it? People outside there that are not confined by the space of a university have the leverage of like pushing and extending their wings and spreading and I'm stuck here. That's how I felt and I felt very pained. 
I felt very down, very disoriented. But then I thought about it again, and I realized she's life. Sometimes we don't control what life gives us, so we just have to work with what we have. And working with what we have is where we have our vision. The way I helped me through that period was because I was very close to saying, you know what, I'm done with school, I'm done with this shit. I'm not doing this shit no more. F it, let me, let me get the f out of this place. But then I thought about it again and I realized the investment, the time investment. And I started doing, weighing the pros and cons and I realized it was looking worth it. Four years. School won't teach you everything, you teach yourself everything in the end. They're just in school not because they want to teach you, but because you have to learn. And then you learn from things that happen around you, not from not from the classroom basically. But yes, my vision is what kept me going all along. And my tough moment as a student in there was when I had to break um, a bad news to a student that he lost one of his parents. It was very, very tough for him because, I mean, there are no rules and it doesn't, this leadership thing does not come with a manual. So there was really no one to consult. It just, you know, it just fell on my lap that morning. I was just going to the office like a normal day and I got a call that um, this particular student I lost his parent and someone had to bring the news to him. <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing I've been telling a lot of people lately. Kids, just do it. <laughs> just do it, man. Um, uh, it's going to be hard. There's no doubt about that. It's going to be very hard. It's going to be as frustrating as it can be. But just do it. When you pick certain people out, they are going to call your friends. Another thing is, do not share your problems to everybody. Let us be an adult. Besides, we have adult or someone older and wiser that you can actually get to. Not your parents can help you, but not advisably your parents, because they're also going through the same thing you're going through. Not all of them. Not all of them are like skills to give you advice. Advice. My advice to people that will still be in this school <laughs> is that you have to do what makes you happy. This school is always going to be tough, trust me. But you just have to choose your, your, your tough parts and stay by it. And um, being president, I had a lot of challenging moments. But trust me, I'd rather be a president and face those challenging moments than be a regular student. That's just my own kind of person. So anything that makes you happy, please do it. So far you're not breaking the school rules and so far you're not caught, please do it. Thank you very much. Hey, it's sometime in 2024. Are you graduating? I'll miss you. Well, your response would have been, I'll see you next semester. But this is, this is the end of this academic run for you. Bright futures ahead. Some of us are very scared when the question, what next, comes up. I can't give you advice because I haven't even experienced it before. But look at the bright side. The big break, the actual big break you need. But the only time you have to face yourself. I pray life treats you well. I hope to see you in high places. And once again, welcome to real life.